Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss the last two questions from S2 probability and statistics 2 from the specimen paper for the examination from 2020. And here's the question number six. At a certain hospital, it was found that the probability that a patient did not arrive, did not arrive for an appointment was 0.2. The hospital carries out some publicity in the hope that this probability will probability will reduced will be reduced they wish to test whether the publicity has worked a random sample of 30 appointments is selected and the number of patients do, that do not, do not arrive is noted this figure is used to carry out a test at 5% significance level a part is to explain why the test is one tailed and state suitable null and alternative hypothesis so First, we have to uh, explain why it is one tailed. Since we are finding the probability, uh, we are only going to test for the reduction or decrement or decrease. We are testing for decrease or looking for decrease. We are only looking for decrease or decrement. That's why it is one tailed test. It is one tail test. Now the suitable null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. So null hypothesis H naught would be the 30 appointments and then there was an appointment uh, probability that the patient did not arrive. So we will take this as a success probability that it did uh, the person did not arrive. So it is going to be P is 0 0.2. That's the null hypothesis. An alternate hypothesis, I'll take it as H1, and it is we are going to search for reduction, decrease, so it would be P is less than 0 0.2. So that's the null hypothesis, and this is alternative hypothesis. I hope it is clear. Let's discuss the next part. And here's the B part use a binomial distribution to find the critical reason and find the probability of a type 1 error so first of all we'll find the critical reason and we, i will write it again h naught the null hypothesis was p is 0 0.2 and h1 our alternative hypothesis was p is less than 0 0.2 significance level was 5% so if it is true that we can take it q also 1 minus p that is 0 0.8 probability of failure so if it is true it means this is a binomial because we are finding from the binomial distribution binomial with parameter n 30 because there were 30 sample and probability of success is 0 0.2 now we will reject we will we can say that critical reason we can find the critical reason if for some r x less than r probability is less than 0 0.05 that is five percent so we need to find this r for that we need to calculate one by one because they have not they have not given the test value so first of all we'll start from zero and since it is reduction we are going to search we are searching for the less value so we'll start from probability of x is less than the smaller value less than or equals to zero means x equals zero to the power because p to the power would be zero and 30 c zero is one already so it is 0 0.8 to the power 30 and this value is very very small than smaller than five percent so we'll check it for the next value it is coming 0 0.001237 and all so from here only we get the hint that we have to go for next value because it is very less than 0 0.05 so next value would be probability of x is less than or equals to 1 that is 0 0.8 to the power 30 plus 30 c1 that is 30 into p to the power that is 0 0.2 to the power 
1 and 0 0.8 to the power 29 and this value would be 0.2 into 0.8 to the power 29 and it is again coming 0 0.0105 and all which is again less than 0 0.05 but we can see it is very less so we have to check for the next value if it is possible uh, if the next value also coming less than 0 0.05 so that critical reason would be that so x is less than or equals to 2 it is going to be 0 0.8 to the power 30 plus 30 times 0 0.2 to the power 1 into 0 0.8 to the power 29 and the last one 30 c 30 c 2 p to the power p means 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 to the power 2 and 0 0.8 to the power 28 and we will calculate this value now this value is coming 0 0.04417 and all which is again less than 0 0.05 but we'll check for the next one just to show be sure that next is not coming less than 0 0.05 so probability of x is less than or equals to 3 this is going to be the probability of x is less than or equals to 2 plus probability of x equals 3 means 0 0.04417 and all plus 30c3c3 3 C 3 p means 0 0.2 to the power 3 into 0 0.8 to the power 27 so this value is coming 0 0.1227 and all which is greater than 0 0.05 and hence the critical reason critical reason is x less than or equals to 2 means 0 1 2 so this is critical reason now find the probability of type 1 error type 1 error is when it is not true means it is if it is a critical reason we will reject the null hypothesis so in critical reason x is less than or equals to 2 will reject the h naught that is this p is not equals to 0 0.0 0 0.2 but even then we are taking it then we are committing the type 1 error and hence the type 1 error probability type 1 error probability is same as probability of x is less than or equals to 2 and which is 0 0.04417 means 2 till c significant figure that is the answer i hope it is clear let's discuss the next question now here's the c part in fact three patients out of 30 do not arrive so they do not arrive and uh, state the conclusion of the test explaining your answer so from the previous part we have seen the critical reason is 0 1 2 so this is the critical reason and 3 is outside of it means in the critical reason we don't accept the p naught uh, we don't accept the h naught so it means we write 3 is outside the critical reason 3 is outside the critical reason so it means 3 is lying in the acceptance reason it means 3 is in acceptance reason so if it is in the acceptance reason it means P is 0 0.2 means we'll write the conclusion we do not have any evidence at 5% significance level that this is decreased that P has decreased so that's the um conclusion of it i hope it is clear let's discuss the next question here's the seventh question the mean weight of bags of carrot is mu kilograms
and inspector wishes to test whether mu is 2.0 he weighs a random sample of 200 bags and his results are summarized as follows sigma of x is 430 and sigma of x square is 1290 now carry out the test at 10 percent significance level so we can see from here that they are talking about mu it means it is uh, it is normal distribution uh, so normal distribution we we need to get mu sigma and uh, sigma square and the test value here the mu is given we need to check for 2.0 so we will check for 2.0 but for that purpose we require the sample mean and the sample mean means we need to get the mean of 200 bags for that first of all we write what we need to uh, test so for that h naught means alternate uh, null hypothesis would be either mu is 2.0 and alternate hypothesis h1 is to check whether it is 2.0 or not so h naught is h naught is 2.0 and h1 is mu is not equals to 2.0 and now let's take and let's get the values for testing and we can see we require to check like x bar minus mu over if it is there are 200 bags means we are going to check get the standard deviation which is not provided so we'll calculate the unbiased estimates for the variance and square root upon n that will be that would be the corresponding uh, value from where we are going to check this is going to be a z value so for that first of all we'll calculate x bar and x bar is sigma of x over n that is 430 divided by 200 and it is 2.15 and standard deviation uh, sorry not, not the standard deviation unbiased estimates for the standard deviation would be s square which is n over n minus 1 times sigma of x square upon n minus sigma of x over n whole square that is mean square so it become 200 divided by 199 times for uh, sigma square is sigma of x square is 1290 divided by 200 minus mean square that is 2.5 square and we'll calculate this value till i'll write this value till four decimal places so it is 1.8367 now we will calculate the z value for the test till the time let's check what is we are going to search 10% significance level if we draw the normal distribution graph 10% and it is two tail we can see it is not equals to so it is it means it is two tails if it is two tails and there is significance level is 10% means 5% would be here and 5% would be here so it means this total probability till this place would be 95% so for 95% this is 95% and corresponding to 95% the z value would be z is 1.645 so we will check corresponding to z 1.645 so let's get the z value for uh, this x bar so z is going to be x bar minus mu over sigma square or s square upon n and it is 2.15 minus 2.00 divided by square root of 1.8367 divided by 200 and now we will calculate this from calculator and the answer is 1.565 so 1 point so corresponding corresponding to corresponding to 10 percent significance level the actual z is 1.645 and here 1.565 is less than 1.645 it means it means that 1.645 is here which is 
not in the critical region so this means I'll scroll up so this means since 1.65 is less than 1.645 means this value is lying in this uh, not lying not in the critical region so we can say that there is there is no enough evidence that mu is not equals to 2.0 we should not write that mu equals there is and there is no enough evidence that 2. Point, mu is not equals to 2.0 so it is 2.0 so maybe it is not 2.0 but we don't have enough evidence at 10 percent significance level that mu is not equals to 2.0 so that's it for this video i hope it was of some help let's meet again in the next video till then thank you so much